Good morning everyone and welcome. Yes, hello, it's Thursday. It's the 30th of May. It's rather lovely outside and it's time for this. Oh yes, good morning, good morning. I hope you've got coffee. Hello, I've got one. Mm. Very nice, love my coffee. Um, have a happy Thursday, yes. Well, the first question is, no, it's not even a question. It's a statement. The statement is, if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button and then click the jingly jangly bell to find ways to stay in touch. And if you're on Facebook watching it live or on catch up, like me, love me, ha 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 me, wow me if you like, but don't sad or angry me because I'm a complete cow when I'm sad or angry. It is true. It is. I'm sure, <laughs> sure lots of people will say that. Oh, Steffi. What day is it? Well, this is going to bake your noodle because you've never heard of this one. It's Loomis Day. Ooh, what? what? What is Loomis Day? I have no idea. Well, I do because I was looking at it earlier. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. There was a chap called Marlon Loomis, a humble Washington, D.C. dentist. And he accidentally <laughs> created wireless. He did. Why? Well, the very foundations of what we would class as Wi-Fi and mobile networks and even satellite networks. He mistakenly invented it because what he thought was the different layers of the atmosphere could be charged to send information between two points. So he sent up a couple of kites and he tried to transmit from one kite to the other. Now, because they were the same height, the cable was the same length and therefore the signal going up the one cable was the same uh the the, the um, let me get this right the wavelength of the cable was the same as that cable yes it's difficult to explain but anyway they communicated but not for the reasons he thought because he thought there was a circuit between the two kites high up in the atmosphere but they weren't it was the uh the signal was coming off as a radio wave off the, the cable and i'm going to stop flapping my arms and stop that explanation because if you look in for loomis day or if you search for mahon loomis then you will find out that he mistakenly created wireless he did and because of that everything we've done since and that was in when 1886 so in what uh, 140 years we've gone to satellite networks and all sorts of stuff so well done Mar Mar marlon 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 yeah marlon well done marlon and you didn't even know you did it yes yeah, true well there you go so that's uh what day it is it's loomis day and after my crappy explanation search for marlon loomis m-a-h-l-o-n marlon loomis and you can find out all about the birth of wireless and how it went from there and i've got a very interesting fact uh, about something related to that later on so well after all that now it's time for a blog post yes it is i'm going to click over here and i'm going to come back here and press this button and the first blog post today is from paul brooksbank awesome action coach paul brooksbank is fear holding you back from achieving success in business hmm interesting could be see the thing is like the chap in the picture that you can see there you always need to be moving forward you always need to be moving towards your goal you have to know what your goals are before you can move towards them yes i have some goals i have a very interesting goal my first goal is to get 25 clients i'm currently at 14 i'm going to get 25 clients by the end of the year and then i have another goal and then i have another goal if you don't have any goals, you're just going to be sitting there wandering around in a big circle. And if you're scared as well, then you ain't going anywhere, mate. You're not. So you need to get past the fear. And I'm going to give you a little uh, insight here. False expectations appearing real. That's what fear stands for. Because anything you can dream up, any worst case scenario, the chances of it happening are so small. So if you can't control things, you might as well not worry about them. Just move towards your goals. Set some goals, get some goals, move towards them. And you can find out all about that at Paul Brooks Bank blog, www.paulbrooksbank.com. The most awesome action coach that I know. Yes, very true. 
strong cracker over here. We only got two today because it's Thursday. So the second blog post is actually also as amazingly interesting as the first one. It's from the lovely and delightful Deborah Stevens of Dramatic Training Solutions blog. DramaticTrainingSolutions.com What does oxytocin have to do with inspiring others? Mm, that's interesting. Well, oxytocin is commonly known as the love hormone. It's the thing that makes you feel all lovey and empathic and stuff like that. And if you inspire people enough, and generally that's done through stories and engagement that way, then you can get them to really root for you, you know? So when I talk about, um, you know, I talk about things that happen in my life, people go, oh man, Steph, Steffi, that's amazing. And then, um, you know, they have more of a connection with me, which is great. And that's what stories do. And that gets the old love hormone flowing. So it's oxytocin, not oxycontin, which is an illegal drug. Oxytocin is completely and utterly natural. And you can read Deb's blog post at blog.dramatictrainingsolutions.com because it is really interesting. So that's it for blog posts. There are two blog posts. There's one from Paul Brooksbank and one from Deborah Stevens. And we're moving on. Uh, I don't really want to push the button because, well, you know, what's my diary today? Oh, all right then. Um, I'm actually going to BNI at lunchtime. Can't believe I'm actually going to BNI. I've always been in the four N camp, and this is just like the Apple Microsoft argument. You're either BNI or four N. Can you be both? I don't know. But I'm going as a sub today for uh, someone I know, the awesome Lucy. Hello, Lucy. I know that you can't go today, so I'm reading out your script. And I'm going to say that she's an awesome bookkeeper, and you should work with Lucy at Leo Bookkeeping in Olney. Yes, yes, you should. So I'm going to sub for her at BNI Sterling in Northampton today. Uh, and I also get to talk about my business as well, which is quite cool. So I'm looking forward to that. And I've got some editing to do this afternoon. I've got a video to do this morning. And some final invoicing for the end of the month. And that's it. Hey, great day. Oh, and a bit of web design as well, which is quite useful. So that's everything I'm doing today. <sighs> it's the fact of the day. It is the fact of the day. And I did promise it was going to be related to the first fact about Marlon Loomis. The inventor, the accidental inventor of wireless. Um, so this one is about Mr. Morse. Oh, heartbroken that for days he was unaware of his wife's death. Samuel Morse decided to explore a means of rapid, long-distance communication and ended up inventing the single wire telegraph and Morse code. Yes, he did. He invented Morse code. So it went into the single wire tele telegraph because back in the day. Um, Obviously, wireless signals were not very powerful back in then because Mr. Loomis just used kites and kites just, but you know, you don't want to do that. So um, he, uh, Mr. Morse invented the, the telegraph down a cable, which Loomis really, really did himself, even though he was a dentist. Um, and then it all kicked off from there because Morse code became really, really useful uh, as wireless power increased. It was, um, it was certainly useful in the Second World War. I know that for a fact. So, and it was all because Mr. Morse was heartbroken that he didn't know for days and days and days that his wife had died. And that's it. Two major, major things that happened early on in the late 19th century, early 20th century, and changed the world forever. Yes, it did. So, that's it. That's it for today. A nice short one today. So, uh, interesting fact about, uh, sorry, uh, what day is it? Mr. Loomis Day. So, it's Loomis Day. And then we had Paul Brooksbank talking about fear and how it holds you back from your goals. And then we had Deborah Stevens and the old love hormone. Love hormone. Uh, maybe I should have included that on episode 69. I don't know. Um, and then we had a fact about Mr. Morse. We did. Yes. And that's it. That's all I need to talk to you about today. So, YouTube, subscribe, please. Click the jingly jangly bell to find out how to stay in touch with me. Uh, like me, love me, ha 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 me, occasionally wear me, but please no sad or anger because I'm a cow or when I'm sad or angry. I am. I am. And I'm going to go now because I've got to get on with a video for a client. So I'm going to get that sorted out. And um, oh, I can see my kitty cat in the background. At least he's not licking his bum this time. Have a fantastic Thursday, kids, and I'll be back tomorrow. I won't because that's the wrong one. <laughs>